I always felt like I, li I always lived ahead of my time. But in reality, you know, I I'm just uh, I'm just borrowing time from the future to use it now. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Riding on a cold day for me. Cold day for me. It's gonna be in the 50s here. I brought my telescope. I'm gonna do some telescoping. I'm gonna go to the clubhouse. I brought hot chocolate. I hope the clubhouse is open today. So I'm hoping the clubhouse is open today. My front basket's full. I'm glad the telescope fits in there very nicely. It is chilly, chilly, but um, decided not to go with the frog dog pants. I just have cotton pants with my Magellan. Magellan boots. Graham, I am gonna double glove it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put the uh, my thumb through the thumb hole. I think I'm okay. Or, uh, you know what? <laughs> when you leave the house, you're always cold. So let's just let's just put it on. There we go. That way, I, your fingers. Your fingers always gets cold. The first thing that gets cold is your fingers. Oh, by the way, I was also I was also looking at uh, Rad Power Bikes. Uh, oh, I got an email from Rad Power Bikes, and it turns out they they offer bar mitts. <laughs> so, if you I guess if especially made for Rad Power Bikes, I like it. They have a uh, some kind of end mounts that lock them in. Those might be just useful in general, but. Anyways, all right, turn the bike on. Bike is turned on. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, I brought my machete. My machete is always with me. I don't know if you can see it or not. <laughs> my machete is right over there. So, But I'm not going to go to the... Uh, I will not be going to Mario Land because it is... It just rained a couple days ago, and there's a flood warning for the river out here. So, oh, a little chilly. I'll have to zip up here a little so that the uh, wind doesn't go down my neck. All right, my pants are feeling okay. I don't want to. I don't want to overdress. Don't want to overdress uh, because uh, I'm gonna probably be pedaling. Although it is a, it is a little windy out here, but I want to cool off. I did bring some uh, hot chocolate. The uh, Kevlar vest. The high vis safety vest with the piping that you see me wearing. It's a Kevlar bulletproof vest, so, and it really knocks out the wind. I don't even feel the wind. Uh, I do feel the wind on my pants, on my legs, though, but that's all right. I'm going to. Uh, I don't want to get overheated and start sweating. If anything, you don't want to sweat. Oh, my eyes are getting a little watery now. Eyes are getting watery. I got a yellow light, flashing yellow light, which I can go, but I'm not going to make it. Now I got a yellow light, which tells me I can go. Just a little bit, I have to blink. And then my eyes start clearing up. I don't wear full face helmets because I pedal and they'll just get fogged up. Full face 
face helmet. I wore the glasses, the safety tinted safety glasses. Cheap. I don't try to buy expensive stuff because you'll lose them. It happens all the time where they break. But as long as I got good airflow, it doesn't fog up. And they do a good job of knocking down the wind enough for you to uh, get adjusted. Falls off, you know. If it's cold and your eyes are, you know, exposed to the cold air, they'll tear up just to get adjusted. But once they, once they tear up and you blink a couple times, they, they clear up. You're just getting adjusted. Now you're going to get runny nose from the tears and all that, but who knows. Anyways. That's why I wear the buff. Takes care of all that. Your your lips, your lips get chapped. Oh, the wind shear. Anyways. I'm good. here. I brought the telescope to do some bird watching along the lake. Just to, just to do something outside the house. It's been, it's been nice, like really sunny, but kind of cold, kind of warmish. You know, mostly cold now. And then it rains. You know, you get a warm front and hits with the cold front and uh, it rains. And then it, uh, rain goes away and it's uh, clear and cold sunny. But the problem is it rains so much that all the rivers get filled up and they flow down here and then we get a flood warning. So can't go anywhere. Can't go off-roading. It's too wet and muddy. Oh, I can feel the wind blowing the bike. Getting a good workout on my legs. I can feel my legs burning. It's a weekday. All the uh, bikers are gone because it's cold. When did I go? I think I went Sunday. That was warm. It was it was warm that day. Anybody who had a bike, they just all came out. Now it's a weekday. After New Year's, everybody got to go back to work. Yes, everybody go back to work so I can ride my bike here. Oh, I got wind blowing at me. Go back to work so I can ride my bike in peace and have this place all to myself. Woo. Okay, there's no hardly any wind right here. My back is feeling a lot better uh, ever since I got that inversion table. And I've been using it every day, at least once a day. Ooh. At least once a day, I use it. I actually try to use it three times a day. Ah, I am getting warm. Water is a little bit low. I'm kind of surprised since Considering how much it rained, it rained like a lot, just came out pouring. So I use it, I try to use it three times a day, at least once a day. So I wake up, and depending how busy I am, 
But I, I try to do it first thing in the morning when I wake up. I try to. But at most, I do it right before I go to bed. So, you know, before I go to bed, I'll get on the version table. Not that long, a couple minutes. Just to stretch my uh, spine out, you know. Just to get uh, release some of that pressure. Get some traction. Ooh, a lot of wind right here. Just to get some traction. And uh, we can go to bed. And uh, my back is feeling better. It's feeling better, a lot better. So, but yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm getting old. You know, I must be getting older, um, aging, what can I say, aging. It's, just, it's, just, it's a matter of, uh, it's a question of how will I age? Hopefully I'll age with grace. Hopefully I'll age with grace and, uh, and, uh, without any, uh, pain and suffering. So, which leads me to my discussion from the last video, you know, van lifing. How practical is it? So, that's just a fantasy. Uh, it's, it seems like a cool fantasy, right? You're, you get a, you get a van or an RV and you just go anywhere you want, rent free. Nothing's free. Nothing is free. It's free to you, or it may seem free to you, but it comes at a cost to somebody or something else. So. That's, uh, that's what I've learned. It's not, ooh. It, it seems free, it's, it may be free to you, but it comes at a cost to someone or something else. So, nothing's free. Oh, they, they, they finished the concrete here, awesome. We can just ride on through now. I'm just headed to the clubhouse. Uh, I'm warmed up. My fingers are semi-warm. They're constantly, you know, hitting the wind, so they get cold again, but my legs are feeling good. My core is warm. As long as your core is warm, you'll, your fingers will eventually get warmed up. Oh, what a very sunny, sunny day. And the uh, air quality is uh, is good. I check the air quality. Always check your weather app. I check the air quality. I'm leaving around noon, the warmest time when the sun is at its peak. And I can tell the sun is shifting. I got the blink cameras and I can see the sun shifting. So it's already uh, shifting. North. I don't know how to say it. North. Well, the Earth is already tilting back towards uh, summer. The summer solstice. Oh, okay. I'm headed to the clubhouse, so I'll take either one. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jeez, lady. <Yeah. laughs> she. she <laughs> It just looked like she was coming down fast and wasn't going to stop, you know. And, and you never know. You don't, you know, you can't read the minds of people. You don't know if they see you. Of course, I dress. I dress this way so they can see me, hopefully. But, you know, you never know. I mean, you could be dressed like a clown. <laughs> you could be essentially dressed like a clown. Like I am, you know, and people won't see you. People totally miss you. You know, that's not unheard of. 
All right. Woo. Back to pedaling. I'll go this way to the clubhouse, I guess. Fate has dictated to me that I go this way. summer because the pools open up, the water park opens up, all that opens up, but I don't think they're going to open it up. They're rolling back some of the opening out here in Houston because the uh, transmission rate has gone above a certain threshold, so they're going to roll back the opening. Hopefully in the summer it goes back down, but it's just not good news. Or it's not the news that I want to hear. So, now back back to the uh, back pain problem. So, I had this back pain problem and just realizing my body is changing. My body is changing and of course your body is changing. You know, you were a baby, you were a toddler, you were an adolescent going through puberty, then adulthood, right? You reach your peak. Then you're over your prime, and then you eventually reach your senior years, senior, or you're approaching your senior. So that's uh, that's the life cycle, and of course death, which is right almost where you start from. I guess with birth, birth, death. That's life. So. I'm realizing, I'm, I'm a, I see the signs, unfortunately. Of course, you know, you always know about this. You have it in the back of your mind always that, you know, age, aging is happening, right? Aging is happening. But when it actually, when you actually hits you, <laughs> that it's really happening to you, I'm thinking more and more of retirement. Not not like, oh, I'm already retired. Not retired from working, but retiring, retiring. Like I said, okay, that's the time for me, maybe, to go somewhere else. And a little bit different lifestyle. A little different lifestyle. I mean, I, I still got, I still got time, but... You gotta plan ahead for this stuff. At least having a plan is better than not having a plan. You know, you either you fail the plan. Is it, how's it go? I'm getting old. You either people don't plan to fail, they fail the plan. That's how it goes, yeah. So I just I do have a plan, an exit strategy. Everybody has to have an exit strategy, the long term and the short term. Always have an exit plan. You don't want to get trapped or stuck in the middle. Ooh, I'm starting to heat up. I can feel my body starting to heat up, a little sweat. So I'm gonna take it easy. 
but I'm not old, Rikidi. Oh, you feel that wind. Oh, look at all these new homes. So, I've been, I've been looking, I've been looking for retirement communities that uh, allow RV parking or even have an RV garage. Ten-year plan, ten-year plan, or maybe twenty years. I don't know, but long term, I still got a lot of time. So that's what I'm looking at. Will I do it? I don't. I, I passed. <laughs> I passed the, uh, the clubhouse. I passed the clubhouse. All right. Well, let me go through the lake then. I passed the clubhouse. Too busy talking, which is all right. It's not too bad. Going this way, not a bad thing. Allows me to pedal a little bit slower. Ooh. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking. Uh, I'm looking at retirement. Retirement, retirement, like like literally become like an old man kind of retirement. Which I'm not really old. I'm, I'm just griping, you know. I live ahead of my time. I always felt like I, li I always lived ahead of my time. But in reality, you know, I, I'm just uh, I'm just borrowing time from the future to use it now. Interesting. I'll just take it a little bit easy out here. Oh, the water is definitely lower. Oh, it is windier out here. That's a snowy egret flying out there. I see some snowy egret. I'm headed to the club. Oh, a whole, whole bunch of ducks. Whole bunch of ducks. Hello, duckies. Is that a swan? I think I see a swan as well. Wow, that's the first time I've seen a swan out here. I think it's some kind of swan. I think it's some kind of swan. That is the first time I've seen a swan. I'm gonna try to, or it could be just a fancy duck. Let me take a video of it, if you'll let me take a video. That is the first time I've seen that kind of a duck or a swan out here. I don't know if anybody can ID that bird, but anyways. Okay. All right, that was a nice detour. I got to, I got to see uh, some waterfowl that I have, I have not seen. I have personally not seen that type of waterfowl. It kind of looked like a swan, but maybe a duck. Don't know the difference between the two. All right, let's keep going. All right, so so uh, so yeah, looking looking for retirement places. So now. Am I going to retire from YouTube? No, YouTube is more like a, a pleasure, an enjoyment. Making videos gives me uh, something to do. I can never, I don't know if I'll ever retire. I would have to physically be incapable of making a video for me to stop making videos, which ultimately might happen. That, that just might happen, you know, you never know.
All right, clubhouse time. Clubhouse. All right, there's the clubhouse. Windy, cold. Ooh, feel that wind. My left hand is cold now. I took it off. Took off the glove. And feeling the coldness. Getting a runny nose as well, but the above is stopping that runny nose from going into my mouth. All right, I made it to the clubhouse. All right, uh, I got a I got a little pinched nerve on my neck, so I can't turn right. Can't twist my neck to the right. Ugh. All right. Gonna enjoy that hot chocolate. That hot chocolate's gonna be really good on a day like this. Oh yeah. Ooh. Hot chocolate, here I come. All right. Ooh. Hopefully they're not closed. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the scenic view. They got the TVs on. That's good. See you later. Bye.